Okay, as can be seen, this is question number seven, and we've got to prove that the left hand side for all that expression is equal to the right hand side here. And therefore, what we do, we cross multiply, and by crossing, uh, by cross multiplying, we get this expression now. So this is cos theta plus 2 sine theta multiplied by this, and you get those two. And this lot against that lot, you get this one. But be careful to put a bracket there, a pair of brackets, and then put a subtraction here. So you expand, and you come up to all that uh, algebraic expression. And from here, if you further simplify um, sine theta cos theta minus sine theta cos theta plus 4 sine theta cos theta, minus 4 sine theta cos theta, all of that's going to disappear and you're left with this. Alright, so there, and you add up and you come up to 4 sine square theta plus 4, 4 cos square theta, and the 4 can be factored out, and you've got sine square theta plus cos square theta, which is basically from the trig identity, and that should be equal to 1, therefore you've got 4 times 1. As for the denominator, <clears throat> if you expand it, you're going to end up with this expression here, it's a difference of two squares anyway, like a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b. A minus here, a plus here, and this is what you end up with. All right, cos square theta minus 4 sine square theta. So cos, cos square theta minus 4 into sine square theta is 1 minus cos square theta from the trig identity. And if you were to expand this, you get minus 4 times 1, which is minus 4. And then cos square theta minus minus becomes plus. 4 times cos square theta, and 1 plus 4 is 5, so 5 cos square theta. Of course, 5 cos square theta minus 4. This has been shown as was required. That's part A of the question. Okay, for the second part of the question, we need to solve the whole equation like this here is equal to 5. Now, we know that from part A of the question, that whole expression is equal to all of that here. That is 4 over 5 cos square theta minus 4. Basically, this is going to equal to 5 now. So we equate it to 5, and then you cross multiply, you're going to get uh, 5, I mean 4 divided by 5 is equal to 5 cos square theta minus 4 is equal to 4 divided by 5 is 0 0.8. So basically, we're saying, um, right, 5 cos square theta is equal to 0 0.8 plus 4 is 4.8 and then cos square theta is equal to 4.8 divided by 5 and you get 0 0.96 so cos of theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 0 0.96 so let's take the square root of this and you get 0 0.9798. So cos of theta is equal to plus or minus 0 0.9798. And therefore theta is equal to cos inverse of um, <coughs> plus or minus 0 0.9798. Now we need to put our calculator into the degrees mode. So cos inverse of 0 0.9798. Is that all right? Yes. And we get 11.54 degrees. Let's say 11.5 degrees as a basic angle. So theta is equal to plus or minus 11.5 degrees. Now we're going to take the positive value first, okay, so if we take the positive value for cos, all right, and uh, we got 11.5, that's one answer already. The second positive value will be in this quadrant, but we're not looking for this quadrant. Why? Because it should be 0 to 180 degrees. So <coughs> theta is equal to 11.5. And the next positive angle will be greater than 180 degrees and therefore we don't take it. Now let's take a look at the negative value. <clears throat> so of course um, if theta is equal to a negative 11.5 degrees we're going to reject it. 
all right this is rejected because we're looking for 0 to 180 so this is below 0 degrees and so what can we do now is we're going to look for the other angle that's going to give us a negative value for cos <clears throat> so if negative um, 11.5 degrees is found now in this quadrant so the next one is here so what you can do is you can add on 180 to this so we're going to say um, so add on 180 and you get 168.5 so the next angle is 168 0.5 degrees and of course we can check this out by putting cost there and this is what we get so minus 0 0.9798 so this is um, excellent so these are the two values for uh, our solutions and here we are take care